beautiful day 20. I left Kearney this morning. My Trail Angel host family, Jeff and Q, were the absolute best. They set the highest standard for what you could possibly hope a Trail Angel would be. They help keep the climber community safe. They don't take any crap from anybody who might be giving it. Uh, they open their home and are just so charitable and so gracious. Excellent hosts. I hope someday they are on their way through Pittsburgh and I have an opportunity to host them and return the favor. So right now I'm just closing in on about seven miles of walking. Oh, there it is. And uh, I don't know how far I'm gonna go today. Um, Superior is the next town. Looks like I may be doing another zero in Superior. Um, that might seem like a lot, but the truth is I've been putting down more miles per day than I expected I would and it's been feeling pretty good and uh, there's still a lot of snow between Pine and Flagstaff so I think taking a few extra days since I'm on track with my mileage requirements to finish in the time frame I have I think that makes sense because I can let the snow melt. There have been folks who are ahead of me on the trail who somewhere between Pine and Flagstaff have called it on their spring northbound adventure due to the amount of snow and the difficulty in traversing it. And I might have to make the decision to stop my northbound trip. And then I can potentially think about returning in the fall and going southbound from the northern terminus to complete the trail this year. But I'm also not gonna put myself in a position where um, I might actually have some real danger and I'm not gonna put my family in the position to worry about that either. to take a little break I'm about what am I now eight and three quarters a little less than nine miles in um, my longest day was just over 24 and we took breaks every eight hour or every eight miles so if I am doing that today then I might get 24 or so miles in maybe 25 um, which wouldn't be too bad but you know, I'm not like aiming for anything in particular. Excuse me. But, um, you know, just seeing how the day goes. It's about 11 o'clock. Um, and if I keep rolling like this, then I think before it's time to really set up camp, I could definitely get 24 or 25 miles in. As you can see, I found a place to kick my feet up, uh, which is fabulous. I'm gonna spend a little bit more time here. Um, it's about, it's close to 1.30 in the afternoon. I've done about 14 miles. And uh, there is two and a quarter until the lowest point on the Arizona Trail. So we'll be sure to check that out. It's also the last good water source at the Gila River before we turn north away from the Gila River. And then it's, I think, another, I don't know, 10 miles to the rainwater collector, which was installed by the Arizona Trail Association because this area that I'm headed into is fairly dry, or can be fairly dry. So they have this rainwater collector for a good water source. There's also good camping at that rainwater collector and beyond. Um, so that does represent a pretty big day, a, probably the biggest day that I've done on trail so far. Um, but I think I have the time and I believe I have the energy to make it. We did it. 
We made it to the Arizona Trail low point. This is the lowest point on the trail. It doesn't get any lower than this. 1,646 feet, it says. Whew. I feel like it's been a long day already, but believe it or not, in order to get to this rain collector, I still have to go, uh, not quite 10, I think it's closer to nine though, miles. And then I could camp there, or I could go another mile and a half or so and camp at a, uh, at a saddle. So, not really sure what I'll have the uh, stamina for, but one thing I do know is that either one of these options is gonna take me pretty much the rest of the day. So, Better keep moving. <laughs> 